Hey everybody, happy Monday. Happy Monday everyone. We are continuing our series on fish colors today. Mm -hmm. It's all about the red fish. Yeah. There are quite a few options when it comes to red fish, but we are definitely going to show you some fish that you might not have considered that are absolutely amazing. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Appreciate you being here. So what we're going to do with this video is we are going to organize it by category to really help you in case you're looking for a specific type of fish. And this first category are for those of you who love small tanks, nano tanks, nano fish. What do we have? Well, you can't have a species spotlight on anything red if you do not consider the cherry shrimp. It is so popular in this hobby for really great reasons and it's it's a great choice for anybody who even has a tiny tank it's a great little little fish invertebrate that you you can include in the tank and they're fun to watch especially with the second choice that i have here the mira and the chili rasbora very similar looking but a lot of little red in those tiny little bodies they don't even get to be an inch those are great fish so if you got those smaller tanks that's definitely a consideration if you're looking for something a little bit larger, but still small, still community, still not aggressive, don't forget about all the tetras that are out there. Oh yeah. There are quite a few tetras that have significant amounts of red. Now I'm gonna say one from the start, and that's the cardinal tetra. Yes, I know the top half is blue, <laughs> so you might see that one again uh, in a future video, but there's a lot of red to the cardinal tetra. We've done, By the way, we've done species profiles on a lot of the fish that we're gonna talk about today. Check out the description below if you want more information, but the cardinal tetra might be an option. You also have the serpe tetra. This is a slightly larger tetra, but gets a lot of nice red. You also have the bleeding heart tetra, which is really cool. So these are all fish. So if you want a little bit of schooling, some of them can be a little bit nippy. So you're gonna, again, you're gonna wanna do your homework on these fish. Don't just throw them in your tank because we said they're red fish and therefore that's what you wanted. Make sure they're gonna fit in nicely with the other fish that you have. But these are great fish that show a lot of cool color. All right, and now along with the tetras, if you like that kind of size fish, you should also consider the barbs. There's a lot of great red barbs. Now you have the cherry barbs that have a lot of good red color. You also have the rosy barbs if you want ones that and you don't mind that they're a little bit more assertive. And then for glowfish you have the red tiger barbs. Yeah and we're gonna for the most part stay away from a lot of the glowfish because I know a lot of you are like ah, I don't really want glowfish or you really want that setup to bring out you know the, the glow light and all that stuff the the blue light to really bring out their color but we just want to mention they are in fact red even without those special lights so whether you like them or not that's your t call completely I really do like the cherry barb as, mm, as part of yeah. this option because it is such a good community fish and they're hardy and they work well in a lot of different water parameters so those are all really good options. Now, maybe the barbs aren't for you. Maybe you've got some fish in there with longer fins, but you still want something that's gonna be active, that's gonna be do well in a maybe a four foot tank or greater. Check out the rainbow fish. Some of the rainbow fish get a mm. really nice deep red color. Yeah. There are all kinds of different varieties, all kinds of different colors. However, if you're looking for a red fish, don't forget about the rainbows. They tend to school relatively tightly, have a lot of activity. Now, another great category of fish is the live bears. What's a live bear? Well, it's a fish that gives birth to live fish instead of eggs. So you have mollies, sword tails, you have guppies, and platies. A lot of them have a, a significant part of red. And while we're at it, why do you want red in your tank and why are people drawn to red in the tank? Do you know why? I have no idea. It's such a great choice in a planted tank because green and red are on opposite sides of the color wheel. Just thought I'd throw that in well, there. Well, there you go. And the, the live bears are great. Again, this is a community type fish. The guppies tend to be more community oriented than some of the other fish. Uh, so you, and the platies as well, you got like the red wag platy, which is really cool. You've got the red velvet sword tail. Now they can be a little bit more assertive uh, as are the mollies. Some of those mollies, you might want to make sure you've got a slightly larger tank. Again, we've done species profiles on a lot of these fish, which I will put down in the description below, but you really can't go wrong with their activity level. Really fun fish to keep. Now, I know some of you are thinking, don't worry, we're not going to forget <laughs> goldfish. 
I don't even know why at this point we call them goldfish anymore because they pretty much come in all the other colors besides gold for the most part. Yeah. But there are a lot of goldfish that get a very nice red, whether you're talking about the comet goldfish, you're talking about the fancy goldfish. So if you've got that cooler water, large aquarium, that could certainly be an option. Now, a couple of my other favorites that are gonna get a lot of, well, a little bit of red color because they are on the smaller size. And if you have a smaller size tank, would be bettas. Bettas frequently come in a beautiful red color and it'll really light up your aquarium. The other one is the baddest, 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 and the, the scarlet baddest is an adorable little fish. And I do mean little, so you can, you can put those little guys in very small tanks. We're talking like a five gallon tank. Absolutely. And don't forget about the Peruvian red pencil fish. Now, yeah. this is a fish you might not have seen before. The first time I ever saw it, I absolutely positively fell in love with this fish. And it's one of the fish that are still on my bucket list that we may or may not have in the fish room right now. I guess you just have to wait and see at some point in the future when we do more fish tank reveals. However, this is a wonderful fish that is full of red color. It might be a little hard to find, certainly expensive, but it's, it's a definitely a cool fish that's going to give you some red. Now, for those of you who love cichlids, don't worry, we haven't forgotten <laughs> about you because some of them produce some of the most vivid red that you will ever see. Let's talk a little bit about the African cichlids from the three Great Lakes at Lake Malawi, Lake Tanganyika, and Lake Victoria. We're going to unfortunately have to leave the Lake Tanganyikans out because off the top of my head, I can't think of too many red Lake Tanganyikan fish. However, there are some from Lake Victoria, and we've actually done a species profile on the species 35, otherwise known as the tomato hap. Now, it's not 100% red from head to tail, and there are other Lake Victorians that get some red as well, but this is just an example of a really cool red type of cichlid. Now, these are aggressive. Again, we want to do our homework here. We have a couple of peacock cichlids, actually a few that you could consider. One is the ruby red peacock cichlid. This has got a lot of nice red. We've had red empress in our fish room where there's a lot of blue there, but also most of the body is a nice deep red color. Yeah. And this last one, I know it's not necessarily a purebred fish that you're going to find in nature, but don't forget about some of the dragon blood. Some of those dragon bloods can have a very rich, deep red color as well when they've been selectively bred to increase the redness in their body. It's really cool. All right, now leaving the Great Lakes, head on over to West Africa. How about the jewel cichlids? Yeah. They do get a little bit smaller. They are still quite aggressive, but they have beautiful spangling and they're just beautiful fish. I, the group that you're looking at right now, I have this group of red jewel cichlids that have the deepest red, almost like a purpley red. Got rid of them. That is the number one regret I have in my fish room. I should have never auctioned yeah. those fish off. I should have kept breeding them, but they're absolutely amazing fish. If you want red color, certainly something to consider. You just have to be very mindful of the fish that you build around that community. So if you're into larger fish, maybe that come from South or Central America, still cichlids, certainly the discus. Oh, I yeah. mean, you've got the discus out there. They come in all kinds of different colors. Red is one of them, very beautiful. Takes a little bit of special consideration with them but they're awesome. The other one to consider, and I know some of you are gonna be like, that's not a real fish. Well, it is a real fish. It's just not something that you would normally see in nature quite the way it looks when we see it in the aquarium. And that's the flower horn. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of the flower horns get a lot of deep red color. This is a fish, in my opinion, that should be kept on its own all by itself. It's like a water puppy. Give it a at least a 75 gallon by itself, if not larger. And that can certainly add a lot of red to your tank and pretty much nothing else because it'll be the only fish in the tank. The other one. Maybe some of you have not seen this. Some of you, I'm sure, have. The Feste cichlid. This fish, again, highly aggressive. Make no mistake, the fish that we're getting into now with the flower horn, the Feste, and the one I'm going to mention next, you're going to have to do your homework. These are not fish for beginners, but the Feste is absolutely mind-blowing as an adult, especially when they're breeding. And the last one is a quite rare fish, and if you find it, you are going to pay through the nose for it, and that is the red pike cichlid. I have only seen this fish a few times and every time I do, it absolutely blows me away. It's an amazing fish, but like I said, it's gonna be expensive, it's aggressive, needs a big tank. So those were some little red fish, some medium red fish, some big red fish, some are really awesome for communities. Some will basically destroy everything else in the tank unless they're by themselves. <laughs> they might even destroy you too. Wow. So that is 
those are some red fish. Would love to hear from you down in the comments section below. What did we miss? We yeah. always miss some. We always do. So what did we miss that are truly red though? They have to be really red. Again, if you want more information on these fish that we've mentioned here on some of them, check out the description below. Appreciate you being here. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.